Hello everyone. Finally, the second NATA has also been completed. In this particular session, we would be briefly looking at the questions that were being asked. What is the kind of pattern that has been introduced by NATA in the second attempt? Because there is a third attempt also that is going to come up. And we would also love to listen to how exactly you felt about this paper. And we would love to talk about that and discuss more about that. Hello, everyone. This is Suraj and you're with Think Institute of Design. So basically, we'll start with a brief summary of how exactly the exam went about, mostly from what we have understood talking to students who have written the exam at all. What we understand is that it was relatively a little bit more tougher than NATA 1. So NATA 2 is probably a little bit more tougher than NATA 1. There were also physics-based questions. So physics-based questions, not just theory, but also numericals that were being asked. So there was no calculator. It was asked all of a sudden. It was not expected. So these were probably some of the reasons why uh, the second NATA, especially the physics part, was felt difficult for some of the students. Arithmetic questions were a bit difficult, but I think one of the positives is that they have started reintroducing the geometry-based questions. The questions that are based on geometry has been reintroduced. So there were a lot of students who were saying that they hadn't got any geometry-based questions in NATA 1. So this time, I think they've reintroduced it. The typical match the following questions were there in case of uh, monuments. There were questions on principles of composition. There were questions on color theory. Then uh, reading comprehension. Interestingly, there was reading comprehension based on the architecture pattern, architecture topics that uh, were being asked. So that's again one of the interesting things that they had asked. Then um, observation based questions were there, but it seems like it was a little bit more tougher. It was a little bit more tougher than the previous year because um, the images seems to be a bit blur. There seems to be a lot of detailing in those images. And uh, because of that, they had felt that uh, there were a lot of things to note down. There were way too many things to note down. And because of that, probably uh, what was expected would be asked in an image was not what was asked. Okay. So these are mainly the summary that we felt from most of the students review. Now uh, we'll take briefly some of the topics. So to start off with arithmetic aptitude, there were work time based questions, ratio proportion based questions. Then as I said earlier, geometry based questions were reintroduced, clock based questions were there. So basically 10 standard mathematics or below that is what we're talking about, direction based questions, speed, distance, time. So these are all the, these all were the kind of questions that uh, they had asked. Okay. So it's mostly like a lot of, a lot of practice and uh, a lot of focus on both geometrical and also algebra based questions should help you achieve a good amount of uh, correct answers in the arithmetic aptitude topic. Talking about non-verbal or uh, the logical, there were questions on uh, cylinder-based questions, images-based questions, 3D images-based questions. Uh, there were also questions on elevation, like uh, top view, front view-based questions, which are usually seen in, let's say, for example, J paper. Okay, so that is uh, something that could stand out, that could uh, fetch you a lot of marks. Then counting the number of figures and all, I think, are very, very typically expected, anticipated type of questions, right? Then questions based on dyes, image-based questions and all with there. So most of these questions could, again, you could, uh, a lot of this was sort of anticipated, a lot of this was sort of expected. I think the interesting part, or not the interesting, but probably the tough part, which most of the students had told about was regarding physics. So in case of physics, there were numericals that were being introduced. There were questions based on work done, velocity and all. Some of the students, because they were in touch with physics for the last one year, they could do it. But the others, like for example, students who were repeating for the last one year, they found it a bit difficult because they, have been, they haven't been in probably touch with this. Uh, again, uh, questions on uh, uh, energy base, uh, the question on what happens in the uh, winding watch, like what's the energy that's used in the winding watch. Um, so that is what uh, kind of questions that were being asked. Okay. Uh, will physics be there in the next NATA? That's what we are expecting, Chitra Gupta. That is what we are expecting. Uh, Sailesh, whatever topic is asked in the exams, do you cover all those topics? Yes, yes, we do. We do cover all those topics. In, in our batches, we cover all the topics. 
Okay, then regarding general knowledge and arc awareness, I feel there has been a little bit more importance given to architecture or monuments, less importance on general knowledge, <clears throat> more importance on architecture, more importance on logos, more importance on paintings, not just Indian paintings, but also paintings from abroad. So I think all these things were given further importance. So there were a lot of uh, logo based questions that had come up logo based questions were there along with that uh, uh, you had to identify certain houses or type of art form you had to match the following match match the buildings with respect to religion baha'i buddhism sikhism so sikhism would be having the type the obviously very famous baha'i the lotus temple then buddhism ashoka pillar so that way uh, religion versus monument, that sort of comparison. Then there were general knowledge also, like for example, the tenure of Raj Sabha members, uh, they were asked. Architects, location of certain famous monuments, you know, Home is a very famous UNESCO World Heritage Site. So those kind of questions were also sort of asked. This style, the questions based on that pop art, Vitruvian man. So international paintings are also becoming important. Okay. Then, um, so those could be some of the topics that you might want to. Uh, focus when you before going to the next one. I would love to also listen to what were the questions that you attempted, what were the questions that you felt were difficult and if you can please uh, let us know in the chat box, that would be great. Then cities and what they are famous for, like for example, Surat, Agra, Chennai, Muradabad, Leather, Diamond, Brass, Automobile. So why is it that there are certain cities famous for certain things? Then uh, Yes, uh, arch-based questions, identification of arches, uh, identification of various paths like stairs and things like that. Those kinds of questions were also asked in architecture awareness and general knowledge. So I think uh, in terms of architecture awareness and general knowledge, it's back, back on track. So they've started giving importance to monuments, building paths and things like that, and paintings, paintings logo. So these could be your major picks that you could focus on for the next attempt, the third attempt, if you're writing the third NATA, which is scheduled for the month of August. Then uh, miscellaneous topics, you have questions from English. I think one of the interesting additions that they have brought about in English uh, is the various topics. Like for example, I think reading comprehension passages were also there from uh, architecture topics. And Fida Fatima has this point. I, I think afternoon session was more tougher. Oh, is it okay? I, I heard some of the students say that some of the, I think, observation questions and all in the afternoon session was a bit more easier. I think there are different opinions to it. Then uh, uh, synonyms, antonyms were most of them, except for I think one or two, most of them said that it was quite easy or quite obvious. Then uh, you had questions on reading comprehension also in English. Design awareness, there were uh, principles of composition based questions and all. Uh, Another part, other than physics, I think another one that was a bit harder this time was the observation-based questions. Because the observation-based questions had some of the images which were not clear, which were blurred actually. So students were saying that it was a bit unfair on uh, their part to do something like this. Did, did anyone of you who are watching got such kind of an image? Please, please do let us know in the chat box. Uh, so observation-based uh, questions, images were a bit blurred for some of the students. There were also issues on too much of detailing in those questions. So as most of you all know, if there is way too much of detailing that is happening in these kind of uh, images, it's difficult to note down a lot of things because you never know what's going to ask, what's going to be asked. You'll have to wait and see like what are the things that are going to be asked, right? So I think that was one of the major issues in observation-based questions. That also was one of the major issues in the observation based questions. So that's it all in all. I think these are the major type of questions. We haven't covered the questions exactly as it is. Okay, there is there could be slight differences here and there. So, but it would still give you a basic gist on how exactly the questions were asked and what were the kind of questions that were being asked in. This is this is a combination of both the first half and the second half. Okay. So I think you've got a brief idea. This this could this should further help you to prepare how exactly you want to uh, prepare for the third meta, or if you want to, or not. Uh, regarding which topic, Silesh, I don't think there is a particular topic. So I would suggest you have to focus a lot more on uh, 
observation based questions that becomes important in arithmetic uh, geometry based questions become important then um, physics uh, a little bit of physics you you could uh, you know brush up uh, a little bit of physics that you have studied then architecture is back on track so building parts and monuments is again important monuments and image uh, monuments and uh, religion monuments and location so this would be this would be my pick these are the four things that uh, you might want to take uh, home from the nata 2 that has been conducted from nata 1 i think again poc principles of composition color theory there were way too many questions so that is also something that you can take back so combining both of these nata 1 and nata 2 you can prepare for nata 2 okay so i think this this gives you a broad view everyone if if there are any questions you can post them in the live chat box or otherwise we can wind up this late night session and we can have any further questions being answered in the comment box also later on so i think yes that that would be it we have covered most of the questions that we have got also if there are any further questions which you have got please do let us know in the chat box or uh, in the comment box if you are watching the recorded session please do let us know what are the other things that you want us uh, to come up with so that <clears throat> we'll share such kind of content also and if you are liking this particular content please do not forget to subscribe to our channel hit the like button okay so that would be it. thank you thank you everyone for joining in this session this late night uh, what is the average expectation fida we will have to wait and uh, wait and see it it might go a little bit below uh, nata one we are not sure but there are mixed responses that are coming up <clears throat> there isn't any clear so, so like a few hours ago we had a student reaction most of them were saying that nata two was tougher so that might uh, lead us to the conclusion that it's going to have a uh, lower top marks we are not sure we'll have to wait and see i'm just sharing some of the observations that we have got okay. any any other questions anyone please please let us know in the chat box we would love to take that up any any other opinion that you people have please share us in the chat box and uh, after the video if you are, if you are watching this video after this live then please let us know what are the other what are the other things that you want to want us to come up with what what are the other content that you want us to come up with we would love to improve our support okay so we will be starting our curiosity quizzes from the next week onwards we would not be having that tomorrow we would be restarting them from the next week onwards every monday and friday is when you have the curiosity quizzes till the nata exams are completed we would be conducting that okay and if there are any further questions you can shoot it to us at the numbers that are provided or you can also shoot it to us in the live chat uh, in the instagram you can dm us at instagram okay so i'm assuming that there are no further doubts i'm not elongating it any further i hope everyone of you might have had a really tiring day i would love everyone to have a take a break have a good nap and come back to charge tomorrow if you are preparing for jee's next session or nata okay so thank you everyone for joining i hope there are no more questions thank you everyone thank you host